good season. Okay, maybe a little bit better than good, but I'm still heartbroken after that game six overtime loss at home. The fifth game that went into overtime, the six one goal game against the league leading, President's Trophy winning Washington Capitals. Upset, why yes. Thank you, little feet. Okay, after a few days, this still stings like an absolute son of a beach. But looking back at the beginning of this year, did I expect this team to even make the playoffs after finishing dead last last year? That's a rhetorical question, unless, of course, you have a Gazoo Man mini me. Hey, Rob. Hey. Rhetorical answer is no. No. And who would have thought this collection of amazing rookies would be able to compete with the star studded team in red? Not me. Yeah, not me either, which is, which is you. And who would have thought that Freddie Anderson could have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team Canada backup and Vezina Trophy nominee Braden Holtby? Yeah, not me. And did this year's Leafs team give the city an early look into the bright future that we're about to have? Absolutely. Absolutely. And this broken heart, it don't stay broken for long. Leafs, thanks for a great year. Go Leafs, go. I attribute the least bright future to a great plan that the owners have put in place. The NHL, as we know, has a player salary cap. And that's about, well, for next year, it's about 80, 90 million or something like that. And that's the maximum they can play all their players. But the least stroke of genius is that there is no cap for management. And so they have assembled an absolute all-star team of managers, including the coach, Mike Babcock, Shani, Lou, and Kyle. These guys are all superstars. Starting with Mike Babcock, who is hands down the best coach in the NHL. Last season, Coach Babcock stepped into a very difficult situation, taking over a crappy Leaf team, and somehow managed to be a maestro and made them finish in last place by that much. And because of that, they had the best chance to get the first round draft pick. And then the hockey gods, like the gods up there somewhere, took over and the Leafs landed the first round draft pick in last year's draft. And that turned into the absolutely amazingly, I wasn't expecting him to be so good, Austin Matthews. And that teamed up with a couple other great draft picks the Leafs made the years before. Somehow, Babcock was able to turn all these rookies into a playoff team. I don't know how. Debbie, how did that happen? It was because of Coach Babcock, and obviously, the coach has a lot to do with the team, and I want to tell a story now about the first coach that I ever had, someone who meant a lot to me, and is basically the reason why I coach today. Two of my good buddies, Adam and Jimmy Cooper. God, it hasn't changed. Okay, this is this is a dude that's very special to me and my dad. Because when I was playing hockey, dad, wait a second. I remember that one was still. Who was your favorite hockey player? Your best hockey player. Who was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the best fighter was Adam Cooper. Yeah, Adam Boy Cooper. Who else was good? Oh, Jimmy Wilson. He was free. Daniel Bird. Yeah. Jimmy was my coach in the select program at Forest Hill. Uh, from the time I was in Adam all the way up. God, the whole time I played. He's a great, great, amazing guy. I didn't really get a great shot of it, but the big silver trophy in the middle of the trophy cabinet in the Forest Hill foyer is called the Cooper Cup. And it's given to the person at Forest Hill Hockey that isn't the best hockey player, doesn't do the most, but is simply just the best person, and that's very fitting. Unfortunately, I had to cut this amazing get together with Coach Cooper and Adam a little bit short because ironically, the 2004 Pee Wee Forest Hill Select Team that I'm the head coach of was playing for the city championships. And Adam and Jimmy, it was great to see you. Jimmy, I wish you the best of health and it was amazing seeing you guys. I know I've talked a lot about my kids hockey and the, what a great season it's been, but. Finals, winner take all. Uh, our number one supporter, Amy, she's been coming for what, two years now? Yeah. Here, who's gonna win the same? For sale. Call. I told the boys to be here an hour earlier. Looks like everybody was. You got the boys sitting right there, you see that? 
nervous. It's like a game seven. These boys, wow, they can take the tier two Pee Wee Championships. Oh, this place is going to be rocking. I'm so excited for this game. We were down 3 1 in points. We won a big game last game. And this is for all the marbles right now. Who's going to win this game? What's up? Attaboy. You make it I am, yeah. You're on the other team, I just gotta ask you one question. When you see that mustache, <laughs> does it kind of scare you a little bit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, good answer. Good answer, look at that. What do you think, Troy, we got this? I think it's gonna be fast ice and we're the fast team and we're gonna <laughs> win. <laughs> Bluetooth kind of it's going smaller. Not on this team it ain't. This team's been amazing. We won three tournaments this year, but there was one tournament I wanted to win and that was the championship of tier two Kiwi. There's a minute and a half left. Played the best third period I've ever seen them play. And we're leaving this arena as champions. Way to go, guys. I'm so proud of every single one of you. And uh, that was that was an amazing year. I wish everybody best of luck and wherever you are next year, uh, you know where to find me. Thanks, guys. <laughs>